welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a three looks in one and this is using the Morphe 35i Fantasy Palette. Since it is springtime, of course, we have to break out our pastel looks. Here is the palette up close. You have a lot of matte pastels. You have a lot of cool duochromes in here and again, this was on my list for one of my favorite palettes for spring. I did mention that I do struggle with this palette a bit and it is very powdery. But if you picked up this palette and you wanted to see more looks, or if you were thinking about picking up this palette and want to see some looks that you maybe could create, just get a little bit inspired, then just keep watching. Let's look off by using my e.l.f. Putty Primer in Rose. Of course, I love this stuff so much. It's very tacky, so if you're not into tacky bases, you won't really like it. Um, but I do like it because it does have that bit of tacky texture. It makes it a little bit harder to blend out the shadows, but what I really enjoy about this is it really makes them stick, and honestly, it makes almost any palette look just amazing. So that's why the e.l.f. Petty Primer is my favorite at the moment. I think we're actually going to start off with this pinky shade right here. I don't have the names. The names used to come on this slip, which I hate, and I threw it away because it's just annoying and it gets in the way. So we're starting off with that light, pale pink, pinky shade, just to kind of have something for the green to blend into. Now we're going to go into this lightest green shade up top here. It's just like a light, almost yellow, chartreuse type of green. A very key limey type of shade. go into this next green shade it's medium it's a little bit darker and we're gonna put that right underneath that really light green we just put on our eye powdery I almost feel like you can't really tell a difference between those two colors so let's just you know pack that on back on the best that we can okay I actually think that I'm going to take this uh, taupey color down here for the outer corner to help deepen it up just a little bit So going into that first very vibrant green we went into, we're taking that really far down, like basically in our whole bag of the eye. <laughs> These are so powdery. I really need, I guess, a better pastel palette. Okay. Well, I'm trying to kind of cover up that gray so that it almost just looks like a darker green shade. Um, just so that it gave it some more depth. I think that's one of the most annoying things to me is using pastels is not having a lot of dimension there. So we are going to go into a shimmer. There is this uh, blue iridescent shimmer right here and we're going to take that on the inner corner. I do really like the duochromes in this palette though. They are very pretty. I'm going to add this glitterly obsessed fresher than you. I've stopped ordering these because this is the last one I actually ordered because it didn't dry down. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to add some to the inner parts just to add a little bit more shine. But yeah, last time it didn't dry down. I'm sure it won't dry down again and it'll probably mess up my whole look. But why did they change the formula on these? I'm so sad. They were so good and now I can't really use them. I know they're not necessarily meant for the immediate eye area, but that's what I always had used them for, so I was pretty sad when 
they, you know, stopped making them good. Like, why change a really good formula that you had? Why? Why'd you do that? We might add a little bit right here, too, just for the heck of it. Try and not put a lot, because I don't want it to completely take off. Oh, I look. Obviously, you don't have to add glitter. You could have stopped. Here is the first finished look. I'm going to try out our white ColourPop concealer to see how it works with this. I think trying different bases is always good. I do think the stickier base so far does work a little bit better, but we shall we shall see. I think today we're going to try a more actual like random almost uh what's the word I'm looking for? Um just a bunch of different color pastels in the crease. And I'm going to use this more dense brush from BH Cosmetics in number 9. It is not just a fluffy brush. It does have more density to it. So we are going to start off... Hmm, do we want to start off with the orange? The pink? It's kind of like this pink salmon-y color right here. So we are going to start off with that shade... And we're just going to pack that on the inner third. I feel like it works best when I don't tap off everything. So we'll try not to tap anything off. Um, this is like such a loose consistency that you kind of like lose shadow along the way so you really have to work to build it up but again it is a pastel palette next we're going to go into the purple shade which is this purple matte right here it's like a pretty lavender shade i do think the purples probably work the best in this palette out of all the other ones it does seem to have pretty decent pigment to it from what I can remember and based off of what I'm seeing right now, it just does seem to blend pretty nicely together. I'm trying to do more packing motions to get this to stick to my lid. Yeah, the purple works so good. I could literally keep going in with the purple over and over again because it just works that good. Next, we're going to go into this mint shade here it is just a mint matte shade i think last time i used the mint shade it worked okay too it's more of the bright green almost yellowy shades i have a really hard time hard time building up the most um although i did really have to build up that pink i feel like too but this you see that mint's doing a pretty good job so I'm gonna go into this really creamy pink shade it's just to kind of add to the top of that um, and I really dug in and didn't tap anything off because like I said you'll basically lose it all if you do that okay. so we're gonna use the mint on the outer portion we're gonna go the safe route and we're just gonna replicate it what's on top on the bottom next going back into that purple Ooh! did you see what just happened there a mess a mess just happened all right and then lastly that pink pinky coral <sighs> salmon -y color shade which is not sticking very well that one i'm having some issues with I had thought about actually, um, since this look is so kind of basic, adding one of my um, pastel liners from from Killer Queen Cosmetics, and there is this pink one here. It doesn't have the name on the bottom, so I don't know what it's called. I forget. 
I did do a whole review on these. These are actually water activated and they're UV activated. So if you put them under a black light, they will glow, supposedly. I haven't tried it myself, but I've seen swatches and I think it really does work. So that is pretty cool. So you're supposed to wet them and then um, you have basically like almost like water color paint like when you're little and you have those watercolor sets that's what it reminds me of but it's just fun do, do, do. so I think we're gonna use this pastel pinky shade today <laughs> this before but I think I'm actually gonna try that eyeliner I think I'm gonna try that eyeliner on my eyelashes like that Isn't it? like it's a colored mascara for our bottom lashes Using the M35i this way so far I think has been one of the easiest where you just use a few mattes. Some mattes are way more pigmented than others, some you really, really, really have to build up. Um, but I think if you're looking to do kind of a cotton candy, dreamy type of pastel look, this is probably the easiest way to use this palette. I feel like once you try using like cut crease and stuff like that, it becomes a little bit harder to work with. So let's get into look number three. Alright, so we are on the third and final look. Starting off, I have primed using my e.l.f. Putty Primer. The look I think I kind of want to try with this palette, and I don't even know if it's possible whatsoever. So I've been wanting the new Pastel Pup palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. Betty Jean, aka her name's Butte Bean, she did a tutorial with it, and I was completely obsessed with it. And she did kind of like... Um, pinks and purples and blues. Amy loves, yes, Amy loves, right? I can't believe Amy loves makeup. Okay, she did a kind of similar look. I don't think they're exact. She did kind of pink, and then there is a black in the pastel pup, but that's kind of where my inspiration for today is coming from. I don't know if I'll be able to do hers or Betty Jean's more. I don't even know if I'll be able to recreate these looks. So it looks like Betty Jean did pink, purple, and then blue, so we'll try that with this palette. I don't know if it'll work, but the, these are the looks that make me want to buy the Pastel Pup, so if I can get away using this one, I will. So we're going to go in with pink. There's no true, like, pink in this palette either. It's more like a corally, salmon-y type of pink, so we're going to just use what we got and try it. Um, okay, so we're gonna see it's so corally. So I say she did pink and then purple. I think so. We'll double check. I definitely do not create looks as good as she does. She has been one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. She does a lot of duochrome beautiful, beautiful looks. So if you're into unique type of looks, I would definitely give her a follow. She's amazing i love all of her three looks in one she's an inspiration okay we're going to go into the purple which we know the purple works great in this palette right here i'm just using a fluffy blending brush uh just because this is kind of the crease color i don't know if we'll be able to really recreate that exact lid color because I do think it's a duochrome but so we might mix some of the blue in with that so I think on top I'm actually going to take the blue sorry it's it's very loud when Declan doesn't sleep you can hear everything down here it's just Declan's my two-year-old, by the way, if you don't know. So I'm going to put the blue in 
between and on top and kind of just pave the way for some blue. On the lid she has that really sparkly iridescent blue. How can we recreate that? Um, so there is a blue shade in here. I guess we'll try it. I've never really used it. It's not duochrome, and I think I'll top it with the duochrome. But it's like this icy light blue shimmer shade. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if it will work out good or not. But... you know do a decent job I do have a few blue duochromes from the Luxie Beauty that if I was really trying to recreate this look I would definitely go for one of those as opposed to using something from this also with the pink I'd probably look for a more true pink shade but trying to stick to this one palette now I'm going to take the Fart Sparkle Blue Duochrome shade, which is right here, and we're going to take our finger. These ones are kind of like Super Shock formula, I guess, from ColourPop. So we'll try and see if those will stick on its own. We might have to add something to it. Well, I really went all ham and picked up a lot. So we'll see if it will stick. Okay, that's working pretty nicely. Like I said, I picked up quite a bit right off the bat. It's going to take that blue again and buff it all under the lid. I don't know if she used anything on her inner corner, but I might anyways. Looks like she... She might have used a duochrome sparkly pink. I know that Menagerie also released some singles. Sure. There is a duochrome pink in here, so we'll take that one right there. I did watch this tutorial, but I really don't remember like what she used where, but I just know it was really cute what she did. Okay. So I know it's not like exact, so I'm going to finish up by putting on my mascara and doing the other eye. So this concludes the final look that was inspired by Betty Jean and again I say you guys should definitely go check her out for some pretty unique looks. I do think it turned out okay using this palette. Um, I think I had better luck on this eye doing it the second time around versus the first time. But it still kind of makes me wish I had the pastel pup palette just because I do struggle so much with these pastels. I feel like the blue pastel and then there's also like a pink pastel on it would work better. Plus there's already a duochrome in there. If I was going to be serious about recreating her look, I definitely wouldn't just stick to this palette. But since this whole three looks in one is using this palette, of course we're going to use the palette. I think though the colors are still pretty similar like you can get a very very similar look using this palette thank you so much for watching do you guys have this palette are you going to recreate any of these looks which look ended up being your favorite if any at all are there any other palettes you'd like me to do a three looks in one i think i definitely want to do a three looks in one using the bloodlust palette because i haven't really gotten to play around with it and i just really want to play with it so much more if i don't end up doing a three looks in one just I definitely will be doing a tutorial in the future using the Morphe, not the Morphe, the Bloodlust palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but if there's any specific ones that you guys want to see, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. Let me know if you try out any of these looks or if it inspired you today, and you have a great day. Bye.